Whenever you have anxiety, this might help. You know, most leaders try to equip their followers with lots of stuff to help them be successful. But in Matthew 10, Jesus sends out his apostles to evangelize, and he tells them not to bring any food or any money or any extra clothes. What's up with that? Well, psychologists say that if someone struggles with anxiety, one of the best things they can do is change their what if questions. What if I don't get that job? What if I don't have enough money? What if I get sick? To change those what ifs to even ifs. Even if I don't get that job. Even if I don't have enough money. Even if my health isn't good, I'm going to be okay. I think that's the lesson Jesus is teaching his apostles. I can imagine a situation, maybe prior to Matthew 10, where Jesus is preparing his disciples to go out on their big mission. And he gives each of them a little food and a little money. And he says, let's hope the people like you. Then maybe Peter says, wait, Jesus, what if we run out of food? What if we run out of money? What if the people don't like us? And I can imagine Jesus saying, hey, good point, new plan. Let's start there. Don't take any food, don't take any money, and let's just assume the people won't like you. But even if you don't have food, even if you don't have money, even if the people don't like you, you're gonna be fine, because you've got me. Jesus doesn't just tell them to preach the faith, he gives them the chance to live it. Maybe you have some what ifs in your own life, that are giving you some anxiety. Jesus is always giving you the chance to turn those what ifs into even ifs. In moments of uncertainty, we have the opportunity not just to preach the faith, but to live it. My spiritual director likes to say that so often in life, when we feel like we're going through a crisis, it's not actually a crisis, it's a breakthrough. Now, I'm not saying that if you just have faith, God's going to deposit money in your bank account. I am saying that what you really need in this life, what you really need is something you already have. And if you realize that, then you can say with confidence, even if this world takes away my money, even if this world takes away my friends, even if this world takes away my very life, I'm gonna be fine because it can't take away my Jesus. Hey guys, I'm gonna start posting weekly. So if you found that helpful, be sure to subscribe for future videos. God bless.